I'm gonna have to raise my voice. Our front raises. I eat sushi rolls without my hands. Why the fuck you're doing it? Reboot. <laughs> What is good guys? We're back at the land in my signature spot in Alpha Eats, all right? Our mics aren't working. I cannot clip them to the chain. So I'm gonna have to raise my voice and that's okay because I'm not an NPC. But that being said, we have a full walkthrough of my delt focus push day. This style of workout is structured by a Anton the Ukrainian and it's gonna be a hybrid between him and his coach Kyle. He took me through this exact shoulder day on Friday and I seriously love it. So I'm excited to get into it, walk you guys through how I warm up, put my own little twist on what needs to be done and tell you exactly why we are doing what we're doing because so many influencers and coaches Rebound. and they don't tell you why the fuck you're doing it. I'm gonna explain to you why you're doing it, how to progress and the science behind everything. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. So, before this video starts, go ahead and like the video, comment what your favorite part of my outfit is, and subscribe to my channel. Alex behind the camera, let's get it. Go. The sushi magician in his red knee sleeves. What's wrong with red knee sleeves, bro? There's nothing wrong with red knee sleeves. Tell him, tell him about your I sushi. I have a matching outfit. This is Chungus, the sushi Chungus. Tell them what you do every week at the sushi. What? I eat sushi rolls without my hands. And, did you hear that? He eats sushi rolls without his hands. Put a video, is that possible? Now you see it? No, you don't. <laughs> Gotta go follow him right now. What's you your get that what's, video? What's your tag? Where are you gonna get that screen, video, bro? I'll screen record it. I'll, I'll, I'll sue you. I'll sue you. You better watch it, man. I'll, I'll come after you. Dude, no, it's tax season, man. It's tax season. Guys, this is my favorite day to do, right? It, it could be categorized as a shoulder day, but also there is chest in there. There is some triceps. There is some biceps. And even at the beginning, there's a little bit of lats. And everything we do here has a purpose. So I guess it could be categorized as a full upper body day with a shoulder bias, right? So the first exercise is a cuff, single arm, lat pullover. Now why do we do this? One, we're going to do it to get blood flow in the lats, okay? Because when you're doing a press, it's good to have blood flow in your lats so you can have a stable base to press off of. Number two, this movement in particular, okay, is really going to stretch out and warm up our front delt, preparing us to press pain free. It's going to be two sets of 15 to 20, okay? I do this on my pull day too at a 12 to 17 rep range. So on my full upper day, since I'm doing less volume for my back, the reps are going to be higher. So two sets, 15 to 20, let's get it. The goal here is to have your shoulder in line with the cable machine, okay? Everyone messes this up, okay? With the cup, we're not grabbing shit. It's just resting on our wrist. So right here, take a staggered stance, right? Get on my tiptoe of my left knee if I'm doing, or my left foot if I'm doing my right arm, right? Elbows as close to my rib cage as possible. Thinking about smashing the tricep into the lat. Balls up here, come down, boom. Like this. Pause in the fully lengthened or stretch. Boom, come down. We're targeting our lats and we're warming up our front delt to keep us safe while we're pressing. It's a win win. So I have two sets of 15 to 20. And Maul will be able to cut the camera now. Next up, we have the Arsenal shoulder press, okay? Seated machine shoulder press. Why are we doing a machine? That's the first exercise. Let me explain. The machine. It's going to take out the stabilization muscles. What does that do? It means we can load more weight on the machine so that our front delts can get a higher hypertrophy stimulus 
without having to worry about stabilizing the weight, right? We can just worry about pushing and hitting the maximum amount of weight and achieving progressive overload with that maximum amount of load. This is the absolute heaviest we can go over our shoulders and that's why we're doing it. So I'm gonna show you what it means to have control while lifting explosive as opposed to the mistake that people normally make and that's just ego lifting, right? So let me show you a little something. So when most people hop on the machine, what they're gonna do is they're gonna come up here, they're gonna press the weight up and they're just gonna like drop down like this. And I couldn't even like, I can't even do that. It feels just so bad. What you need to do is we can still be explosive, but we gotta come here, explode up, right? Have control, boom, up. Control, boom, up as opposed to just like dropping the weight down and pressing it up, you know what I mean? So we can still lift explosive, lift heavy, but we do have to maintain that certain degree of control in the fully lengthened position. So all that means is like when we're down here, when our delts are fully stretched, we need to have that control or else we're gonna open the door to injury. So I'm actually gonna go again. three plates on the same machine I used last week. Last week I got it for eight reps, okay? The rep range is eight to 10. This week I'm gonna get it for nine to 10 reps. Next week is bump the weight up and start back over at eight reps, okay? This is how you progress. This is how you get big. This is how you measure your progress. Pick a weight, train a failure, have good technique, add a rep every week, 12 to 15 reps. Start at 12 reps, week one. Week two, do 13 reps. Week three, do 14 reps. Week four, do 15 reps. Oh, I hit 15 reps. What do I do next? Bump the weight up and start back at 12. That's how you get big, okay? Whoa. Whoa. Dude, that slap was so loud. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with all your strength, bro. To start it? What? To start the set? What? No, this is the set right here. Yeah, when am I helping you? At the beginning Dude, or end? At the beginning. When, oh. I, when I say three, just literally. What about at the end? No, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna just push it like Okay, if I, if I tell you, if I actually, you might not be that. Dude, the main thing is just making sure we like lift this up with all your force. You can't so. get it? Dude, I can't, like, I'm going for 10, Chunk. Okay, whatever, sit down, dude, let's go. They're a weakness, so I want to hit them in the beginning of the workout while I'm fresher. Um, we got pec deck rear delt fly, superset with bent over seated dumbbell rear delt fly, all right? So pretty straightforward here, just making sure, again, we have control here, okay? The biggest thing is having control. Nobody understands that it's not about, oh, like, I'm gonna lift light weights for high reps and I'm gonna get a squeeze. Like, no, stop being a bitch. You're gonna fucking lift heavy weight for quality reps, the pauses, right? And we're gonna control the negative and we're gonna lift heavier, man. The way you're gonna be able to lift more weight is with more control. So please remember that. We're going three sets, 10 to 15, and obviously we're super saying that with the bent over flies, that's gonna be three sets of 15 to 25, okay? So let's now get it.
pausing in two spots in each trap. I was pausing when my rear delts were fully lengthened or more commonly referred to as fully stretched at the bottom and then I fly and I pause at the top where my rear delts were fully shortened or fully contracted, okay? I'm not ego lifting, I'm not throwing the weight. I'm pausing, right? And then when we get to the dumbbells, we can have a little bit of a looser tempo. Next up we have cup side lateral raises. Now a big cue here is we wanna keep our arm in the scapular plane. What does that mean? We're not front raising, right? We're not raising our arm directly to the side. We're meeting somewhere in the middle in a diagonal line and that is going to target the most side delts. We're going three sets of anywhere from 12 to 15 reps and we're progressively getting heavier each and every set. This is an isolation movement, so we're not as much gonna do a top set than a back off set. We're kind of just gonna get a feel for it and work up and go heavier and heavier and heavier within the given rep range, so let's get it. day we have a chest supported side lateral raise and we're super setting that with an alternating dumbbell front raise to just really trash the side delts and the front delts same thing with this with the dumbbell side lateral raise is chest supported keeping our arms in that scapular plane right here so we're not coming to the side right we're not coming in front but we're like in that middle point right that's where we're going to get the most side delt activation then our lateral raises are going to be neutral grip our front raises are gonna be neutral grip, okay? So we're alternating here. Again, we just did a unilateral movement for side delts. Now we're doing, doing a unilateral movement for what's going to be our front delts, all right? Let's get it. Same rep range, 12 to 15 on the side lateral raises, and then basically eight to 12 to failure on the front raises. Remember, we're doing one arm at a time on the front raises, so it's gonna be a lot, whew, it's gonna be a lot easier to do more weight, but you're gonna have to control it just as much. All right, boys, we got neutral grip chest press, right? Now we're getting into our chest work. All machines at the end of the workout, right? We're gonna have room for free weights on our chest bias push day, right? We got incline machine press with the neutral grip superset with high repetition flat press right there. Okay? Nothing to it but to do it. Let's get it.
turned into. It turned into a full upper day, but like that's actually what it is. It actually is a full upper body day with a shoulder bias. We did a crap, we did some lats in the beginning. We went to shoulders, traction, and then we went to chest. And on that neutral grip incline, that was a lot of front delts. And last but not least, we literally went into some arms, and that's that. What I want you guys to do is like the video. It would literally mean the world to me. Comment something you learned or your favorite part of the video, and subscribe to the channel. I cannot express how much subscribing to the channel will help me. So thank you guys so much. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one. Huge thank you to Alex for producing this. He is going to make this insane. I'm blessed to have him.